Alright ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We are here with RimWorld. I'm not sure if anyone's hung around. Hopefully they are. We'll find out. Uh, while I was just after I stopped streaming, I got a follow, so I'm going to replay that again. So, thank you Hawk9112. You fully deserve your credit, basically. I'm just replaying it so you get your juice for following. I actually left this running while I disappeared, but it stopped because we've got a raid coming in. So, something's damaged as well. Oh, we could do the new Parker. Cool. But yeah, so, uh, welcome back, basically. Get ourselves a Parker. Make two, so we've got a spare, a t-shirt. Maybe. I don't think, is a toque just a helmet? Oh, it's a soft cap. So, no idea. Let's make some pants and a t-shirt as well, just in case. There we go. Cool. Oh, button-down shirt. Go for that. Yeah, put quite a bit in there. So, thank you all for following. So our list of followers is now Mr. Cheese and Hawk. So, Mr. Cheese will be next. And then after that, we'll have Hawk. Let's check out the bio on this guy. Oh, where are you good at shooting, good at crafting? Oh, he's got so many things he's useless at. Okay, he's got too many things he's useless at, so we're not going to take him on. But he's giving us a follow. Let's prep. We slaughtered the cows. Don't remember, we slaughtered the cows. Removed this area. Let's harvest this as well. Um, and let's click the switch. Feel good still. He's still good, isn't he? I think he's fully recovered from his plague now. Okay, so he died, which is actually a bit of a shame. I wanted to strip him first, and he's got some nice clothes on him. Yeah, he's got some nice clothes. But sadly, he did die, so that is a shame. Okay, so we'll incinerate him at some point. We'll put the animals back to unrestricted. We're down to only two animals. We've got Makar, our Labrador Retriever, and Polo, the Husky. Um, <clears throat> the cows weren't really making their own upkeep, so to speak. So, that sucked. But, I think we're doing okay. We've cooked so many meals. We've got 135 meals now. Basically, all the meat we had, we've converted into simple meals. It was just way more effective to do that. And we are going to have to plant some more food soon, I think. It'd be good to, anyway. We've got a priority in there to make fine or lavish meals. I think we should go 40 simple, 20 fine, and 10 lavish. they got the options there, but I don't want him to keep cooking constantly forever and ever. Our well, consumer meal needs finished, and then we'll get him back to mining, because I really want to get this communal area in soon. So the aim, basically, is to move our stoves into here, in the same layout we've got as the butcher's table. So we can bring it in, butcher it, put it in, and then here we can bring it out, cook it, put it back in. That's the goal, anyway. We'll do that so that both of them are cooling together. We'll also remove the planning, because um, we can see the layout now. So, yeah, that's the goal. And then we're going to have this as a communal area. So we're going to have tables and chairs and sit down and eat. We're going to have like a poker table and chess table and stuff in there. Just general chilling area, basically. That's the that's the goal. And then off of here, we can start to build other things. We can build a medical ward. We can build uh, some more bedrooms and things just coming off of it. That's, that's my aim, anyway. This is quite nice. We've got all our blocks and stuff here. We've got our chunks just sat around. Oh, and here, I was going to replace all of this with slate. Just because I think it would be quite nice. I think we've got plenty of slates out around, haven't we? 137 blocks, so we can make a really good start. There we go. <clears throat> Already making a good start on that. It's a slightly different colour as well, which is nice. These have now naturally dropped to minus 80, which is absolutely fine. We're not too fussed about that at all. I'm, however, going to put my mobile dashboard up now.
just putting that on there. So I can see stuff like follow account. It's really nice actually. I've hit 23 now, so about halfway to the 50 target, which is kind of the milestone that Twitch sets for that. I'm also going to clear chat on my right hand side. I think that's sure there's a clear chat. Yes, there is. There we go. Just so I can see when you guys do send me a message now. There we go. I do wonder if we need to up our power production soon. Our turret ran out. Oh damn, what did I miss? What on earth did I miss that our turret got damaged and destroyed? Did it explode, maybe? Because I thought usually you just have to repair it. I assumed the turret durability dropped and then you just repaired it. Clearly not. That sucks a little bit, doesn't it? <clears throat> we'll turn off our power as well. We don't need it in here at the moment. We'll turn those off. We can also disconnect one of these. We're not using it. We're also not using that at the moment, so we can disconnect it. Actually, we'll, I'll take it back. We'll leave that one going, so we've got some bills in there. So we'll just leave it until he finishes those. I think we only need one parker made, so we'll make one parker, a t-shirt, pants, duster, and jacket. Just so we've got some spare bits of clothing as well. We've got plenty of leather sat around, so... You know, it's not like we're struggling for it or anything. I'd love to know how this turret got destroyed, though. I mean, I, I was gone for quite a while, so it could have been anything, but thanks. Didn't expect that. There we go. Security's up and running again. Is that not connected? Oh, what do we got? Oh, we got two. Okay, and one's got a gun. They came around really quick, and we've only just fought off the last raid, so that was very, very quick. So, we do need that turret powered. Just prioritise that and then you go back to doing what you want. Hopefully... No. I say hopefully one of them will survive, but apparently not. Let's just have a quick look at her bio. Okay, so she wasn't capable of dumb labour and cooking anyway. Useless. Incapable of cooking, but good at artistic, crafting, plants, social and intellectual. Although a psychopath. Not the worst thing in the world, but yeah. There we go. He's resetting the traps. Good on him. I decided we're going to keep the two pets, by the way. Maybe two should be our cat. I quite like a male and female husky, so we can breed them and then sell them. But again, that uses a lot of resources, having to care for them in the meantime. these with dining chairs I think they're better so if I remember correctly this gives beauty of eight or as stools don't give beauty I think that's how it works comfort 0.7 as these have beauty of nothing and comfort of 0.5 so wood dining chairs are basically just better in every way there we go so we'll do that construction so excellent lovely so do they get better because they're excellent I don't know I've no idea I've no idea what that changes to be honest I would have slate and granite we're out of we've got loads of granite we're out of slate so when he wakes up we'll give him a simple meal and then we'll go straight in for the stone cutting in fact no we won't we'll give him a simple meal then we'll go for the tailoring and then we'll go for stone cutting hey Mr. Cheese man how's it going See you, buddy. I'm right on 22 as well. Fair play to you. You were back bang on time. You only missed a couple of minutes, I think. You didn't miss too much. 
I've got leftover Christmas chocolates on my desk today. So it's, only, it's only right that I... Uh, oh. We're really going to need to get working on some slate, aren't we? Doesn't look like we've got any around us, though. So. So we might actually have to go out and actively mine the slate. Which, yeah, sucks a little bit, but... That's what's required, then. Fair enough. Damn, he is on it. So, I think we should see him once he's done this, actually changing out the clothes for the ones he wants. Hopefully. It's been a while since we've had the chance to actually recruit anyone. Rubbish. <laughs> Hopefully, we will see him come a little bit better at crafting. It's nice he's actually put on the dust jacket, even though it's poor, but he has put it on, so that's good. something. So he's put on some of it. But yeah, it's not great. Might have to sell some of that. <clears throat> we have a good bed. Pig skins, let's go for another good pig skin one. Give both the animals a bed. We have so many meals now. You can see we've got just 119 stashed away. A machine collector says there's an enemy outpost. Guarded by three enemies. See, I can't take on three enemies to get to her. That's this is part of the issue. I don't think this is going to be permanent anymore either. These two or this. We're going to have to upgrade these. Like this is going to have to look a little bit more like this. I think we might even have to move like the research bench into its own separate thing. We won't need the tables in there if we're building this communal area. I think a lot of things are going to have to move soon. That's all granite. We're completely out of slate. Got some limestone though. He could have some a marble floor maybe. Is marble nicer? Beauty on a marble floor. Alright, there we go. And a marble tile. The beauty's just one. I think it's one either way, so... Yeah, maybe. We could just do marble this area up. <clears throat> as our nice communal area. I don't know yet. We'll leave it for now, but... Ah, oh, bucket now. Free food, though. No, we don't rescue it. Hunt it. Oh, we don't need to hunt it. It's, it's going to die anyway, so we'll leave it. No, don't worry about it. We'll die. Yeah, I think it's just going to bleed out. One of the animals will come collect it and drag it to the... Let's see, let's watch that. There we go. So, almost dead. <clears throat> almost dead. There we go. Hopefully one of the animals will come collect it and... I, thought, I can follow it up back. There we go. Oh, it was us at the end. Fair enough. Oh, we went straight for the butcher, that's why. Nice. 
but the animals put the leather away. We do have a lot of leather that makes up the majority of our stuff. The heavy SMG, how good is that? Damage 12, arm infiltration. Which I don't think is going to touch our energy weapon, but. Damage 15, arm infiltration 5% warm at 1 second. Okay. Yeah, fine. <clears throat> Charge rifle absolutely destroys this, so we'll just keep it to sell basically. I hope we find a little bit more gold on the map to get more of these royal beds. You know, since we're making nice things for people. We got even we even got stuff like dog beds and stuff. Look at that. We got eight animal beds to sell. Some chairs. Although we haven't we haven't got one, two, four of those, and then four chairs. But still we got a lot of stuff to sell. I need to dispose of these bodies somehow. Or do they just go away on their own anyway? Because that one's down to like 15, that's down to 7. So I assume that'll destroy itself after a while. <clears throat> Almost done with this room. Lovely, lovely. And we'll go for some granite floor in here. Some granite tile. Like that. And what we can actually do is then after that we'll replace this wall. Like so. Like that. I think we'll keep... Should we keep that door? Probably not. I don't know. I guess it's the communal drop-off, isn't it? So we could move that door to there. And then have people drop off the meat through there, like that, just to stop them going into this communal area and dropping it off, because that's quite gross. Oh, that was a boomer, wasn't it? Yeah. There we go. Having stuff up straight away. So much food. We're going to have to put on the whole forever thing soon. So, uh, Mr. Cheese, I left this going for ages and we we're up to 130. So, carving all that up straight into food worked really well for us. And I just paused it. I say paused it. I turned it off while we got on with some other stuff. But I'll turn it back on again at some point. Maybe I should just leave it on just to keep us on top of it. It would make sense, wouldn't it? Ah, oh, see, the bills should be the same on both, shouldn't they? Can we copy the bills? Oh, oh that's so nice and easy. There we go. Hey, Mr. Cheese. We don't need power on this at the moment, we've only got one person, so no point in having power on both. Everything else, however, is coming along very nicely. We'll get them in the morning to make more blocks, I think. So back to consuming meal, and then straight back to cutting rocks up. Blocks, rather. I don't know whether we should go for slate. I wanted to use slate, but we ran out of it so quickly. So we had a couple of hundred blocks and we just burnt through all of it doing this so let's go all granite let's we're gonna stick to granite and it was nice the thought of having varied colors and stuff but we've just burnt through it all so quickly so that go all the way back to there Um, does that actually go down one more block? It does, that's annoying. We'll have to deconstruct that, put that across there like that, and then shrink our tree growing zone. I had no idea we are in the way there. Blocked by poplar tree. There you go. There's the poplar tree. There it is. Let's get those out of the way. Massively suboptimal. Cool. And there we go, and we'll get back onto it again. <clears throat> Where is this connected up power-wise now? 
Down there, that's a pain. There we go. Plenty of granite being made now. I'm guessing it increases our construction as well when he puts these down, so... Let's see, but I'm, I'm just assuming it does. Do it. it. Does. Booking needs to put up quite a bit. It's just taking so long. Even with all the butchering he's doing, and all the, he's doing all the cooking for himself, he's just not getting better at it. I don't know how much of a difference this, uh, this little flame made, but it does. It changes everything, doesn't it? I think we need to get up to six or eight in order to make the fine meals. It's going to be ages before we make lavish meals, if at all, with this guy. I don't think we will be able to with Craigsy. I don't think he's ever going to reach that level of cooking. Anyway, see how he does with construction again. Oh no, he's going to strike the cook. Okay. He's almost caught up with cooking, we've only got one more to make. He hasn't got enough now to make any more simple meals. So what's he going to get on with? Butchering. And then more cooking, I assume. So this is why I turned it off before, just because his entire time was being spent cooking and nothing else. Hopefully he'll now stay on top of it. Right, here we go, construction. Ah, oh, he's gone again. Damn it. Damn it. Region leading master in construction. That's very cool. I suppose he has built all of this, hasn't he? So, as soon as I look away... Uh, okay, that did race up quite quickly then, doing all of this. <clears throat> we need to see him do a whole streak though, don't we? Just to push it up, 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 up. Quickly enough to get a level. Obviously, once they stop doing it, they just they drop down again. Solar flare. That sucks. Food's going to start to go off. Ah, down to a couple of days on this. I think you can get a passive cooler as well, can't you? What does that need to be fed with? Is it wood? that actually drop the temperature. Oh, there we go. It is actually dropping the temperature really well. That's to say, oh, okay, the cooler's come back on, so nothing to do with us putting in the passive cooler. It's to do with uh, the actual overall cooler coming on. For a second then, I thought this was insanely good, but it's not. I guess it's just a slow thing for the tribal colonies, isn't it? Oh, there we go. This looks lovely. New cooking area finally in place. Bigger food storages. See, 308 for that. We almost have that enough, that much limestone. Uh, we haven't got enough anything else. And there we go. There's our door there. So let's. enough granite eventually to do that. We'll need a nice table as well. 2x4? Ooh. Oh, we haven't got any granite stored now. That's a shame. I suppose we could put it in marble. We've got plenty of marble. We put two in. Put one down. So we could put one there. And then we've got room to put like poker tables and stuff in other places. That there. Got, can't make these out of stone, fair enough. And then recreation, we could go for a like billiards table down there, we could go for a poker table, some chairs around it, and a chess table. We've got room to put all of those in there. We've got enough for a Oh we need cloth for this. I don't know how we make cloth actually. Can you only buy cloth? Is that a not sure. 
and then this corner will put a chess table. Cotton. Is that something I have to grow, isn't it? That sounds like a growing thing. And then we'll go for the granite tiles. There we go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. The grow con? We can grow cotton. What level does it need? Doesn't say. Can we just go for that then? That would be cool. Growing eight. I'm growing five. Cool, so we will go for some cotton. Doesn't allow any level for it, so. It's the rice one. Probably not so rice is doing us very well. Wow, I'm amazed nothing caught fire then. That was impressive. Let him trade when he's done. Is there a certain temperature, by the way, that the batteries need to get at to stop them self-discharging or increase the efficiency? Anything like that? So let's get rid of our awful and poor jackets. So these ones he doesn't want to wear anymore. Get rid of the weapons. And let's buy in his medicine, his package survival meals. Components? I don't think we want the components. We've got plenty of components still, so we'll sell everything we don't need. Buy in the package survival meals and the medicine. Just because we always have to carry a package of Ivan Mill with us. So, we can eat something out in the field. Let's do that. And we're still making money. Lovely. It's a shame we didn't have any cotton. I would love to have bought some cotton from him. I'll do the table first. See how quickly this construction goes up making this table. Wow, quite a bit. She's 16 years old. Oh, do we do it? Okay, Mr. Cheese, if you're watching, I'm going to wait like 10 seconds and I'm going to let you decide. Should we save the straw poll? I think I can straw. Yes. Okay. I'll give it 10 more seconds. I'm going for it. Cool. Okay. Yes. I'm guessing Craig's vote on that, so thank you very, very much. Let's do it. Offer safety. So, Io, incapable of nothing, isn't good at shooting, but can cook, can plant, good at medical and intellectual. So she can do some research. Um, she likes drugs. That sucks. Okay, we're going for it. Let's do it. Welcome, Snappy. We've got a female called Mr. Cheese, but we'll take her. Title is Sickly Child. Is sick. Oh, she is. Ugh. Okay, fine. She has her own bed already. Yeah, that's quite nice. She's walking straight into having a bed. Two tribesmen with her bows. We should be fine with them. I imagine they'll hit the traps, die, and then we'll call it quits. 
that'll be the end of that. But hey, we have a second person in the tribe. Oh my god, that's so cool. They're so cool. And again, it's tainted, so we'll just let them go into here and then we'll cremate them. What if there's a better way of doing this so we can have one for the turret and then one that bypasses and goes straight to there? I bet we could if we put one in there. And then we had power that also... We'd need the power to split, wouldn't we? Like that. So if we put the power circuit there. Anyways, Craigsy leveled up a bit. Oh, Mr. Cheese put the war mask on. That's insane. So I will look into at some point how to... Ah, oh, so good. How to put a straw poll actually into the Twitch chat. That would be really, really cool to do. There's got to be a way of doing that through Streamlabs OBS. I'm sure. Oh, it's coming soon. Apparently it's a feature coming soon on here. So I guess at some point we'll have to add that on. Constructing. I'm making him do it so that he levels up. I don't want him to lose all this skill again. He's doing so well with that. I'm not going to go for prisoner rescue request. There's three up here though. So somebody up there is doing a very good job of capturing people. And I'm so glad we have a second person. Even if they, you know, they do end up just dedicated to planting crops and things. They are... Actually, they're both quite good. They're not both bad, but yeah. Craigsy's a little bit better, also with plants, but uh, the intellectual side of it. I'm hoping we'll see Mr. Cheese doing a lot of research and things. Meteor, right? Oh, look at that. We needed that. That's very good. So we get components from all of this compact machinery mine. Eclipse doesn't bother us in the slightest, seeing as we don't have our... Seeing as we don't have any solar panels. Uh, yeah, components are great. There are a lot of doors in here, aren't there? There's so much accessibility to go through from the butcher front of the kitchen if you want to go straight through. So that circumvents going through here. If you want to just go get food, you can go like that, or you can go like that. I mean, you're actually going to move this door, so you'd have to go like that, but yeah, we'll see. And my car's collecting in the hay. So Mr. Cheese is just doing a great job of harvesting food. That's her job right now, is just farming. And I'm absolutely happy with that. Good old Mr. Cheese, man. What else is she good at? Is she good at artistic? No, she's good at medical. Okay, we'll use that. And again, intellectual we use. She's not very artistic. I'll admit, she's not perfect. You know, she's no Craigsy, but... She's good. She's good. And the next one we need to go for is Hawk. Hawk is going to be our next our next character to bring in. Bring into the fold. How much marble have we got left enough? We're we running low on marble. Worrying. Construction's looking good though. I think we've made everything we wanted to make out of marble though. We've got all the marble in here. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We've used all the marble we needed. We just need to get some cloth. And to do that, we actually need to plant some. So, let's set out a growing zone for cloth. For cotton, sorry. There we go. We can attack them. We're not going to, but we could. Social. So, it's three, I think. Yeah, Miss Cheese is trying to look social. I kind of don't want to disturb him, he's doing such a good job. Oh, he's stopped now, what's he doing now? Falling wood to the dining chair, see, he's just doing such a good job. 
So we'll have him haul that first, and then when he comes back, he can go do some trading. So. Oh, we've got 60 gold. I didn't realize I had that much. Uh, do we... I don't think we want to sell anything. Do we want to buy a walk? I don't think so, because I need raw meat. Yeah. I don't think we want a walk. Quite expensive as well. There is nothing we want to do here. We could sell our gold, but I quite like the gold. Yeah. I don't think there's anything we want to sell. Anything we want to buy. <clears throat> We're all good here. Ooh. Is Mr. Cheese's planting eight? No. No. Very cool. We could do with some more granites. At some point I'm going to make him do some granite stoning, collecting, whatever. This is all granite, isn't it? Yeah. I thought Mr. Cheese was uh, researching then. I was about to jump for joy. We haven't had anybody research in such a long time. That's going to be annoying, people constantly coming into the door to research and things, but Craigsy's doing fine. I think we should match sleep patterns at least, though. Let's do that. Just to give some sort of structure to the colony. How's Craigsy doing? Now move it to the top corner. Oh, what quality is it? Normal. That's fine. Good. Excellent. We've got so many things in there. Uh, what's we have to do now? Digging up granite. So instead, I'm going to set him to a stone cut. We need a lot, lot more granite if we're going to keep doing this. Marco's doing a great job of moving all this hay off as well. We've got thousands of hay now. Stone cutters or something in there, some sort of crafting area. Down a fire. Oh. Corner of my ear, it's like corner of my eye. I don't know if that works. I thought I had something off the side, and indeed, there was a fire. It doesn't look like it's burning too badly, though. I don't think it's burning too badly at all. See, so this is now a little bit more worrying. Oh, the old one, uh, the old one decayed, okay, fine. So much granite. Good job, Craigsy. Making granite again. Yes, he is. So, my zoom in, I can just hear the fire burning. In the morning, we're going to need him to... Uh, I was going to say, so out the heater for some reason, I thought it would broken down, but it hasn't. It's all good. Is it still burning? Oh, that one's burning. Yikes. That one shouldn't make it down to us. It won't make it past here, and it won't make it past here. It won't make it past there. So at the very least, it'll be contained to this area. This part of the map. Look at him go. His floors look so good. Oh, so Mr. Cheese is laying it out. Is Mr. Cheese actually going to construct as well? Or is she just putting it in position? I think she's just prepping it ready. Yeah, because then he's going around and building it. So this is so useful having a second person. And more importantly, Mr. Cheese can doctor uh, Craigsy if he goes down. So the dogs will haul him back to his base. Or back to his bed, sorry. And then she can heal him. Which is just incredible on its own. She's not very good at mining, though, is she? Let's be honest. In fact, she's won mining. So, fair play to her for trying. Yeah, there's no, no more farming to do, but looks of things, so... 
That's going to be such a nice dining room when it's finished. We'll get like some decorations and things in there as well. Our sandstone that we exclusively put down as traps is running out, so we might have to use limestone soon. Ah, look at him go. That's funny. That's crazy how quickly he gets through it versus how quickly she gets through it. Minor break risk, Mr. Cheese? I thought so. Right, what are Mr. Cheese's needs? Let's focus on this for a little bit. What do you mean? Your bed's... your room's quite nice. Spacious interior, hmm. Soaking wet, slept in the cold. Oh, you do sleep in the cold. Okay, so. I think we're going to have to make a nicer room for Mr. Cheese. We have to take our responsibilities a little bit more seriously. So let's deconstruct these walls. We'll actually deconstruct all of this. But, to start off with, we'll do the walls. And then we'll whack a nice royal bed in. Alright, there it is. Marble royal bed. No, not a marble. A limestone royal bed. A limestone royal bed. <laughs> Go for the limestone room. Just not for now. Uh, let's expand it first. We'll move everything about. And then we'll put in like our heater and cooler and stuff. Let's put in a bill for a parka. Dust or a jacket. Let's go for one more set of clothing all around. In fact, it's like we don't need a t-shirt, we don't need pants. Let's just go for duster jacket and parka so then they can pick what they want to wear between them. Yeah, that should do. His construction is just great right now. And he's almost finished the path outside as well. so well. Oh, they actually got, um, their work? Work. Oh, that's cool. So they've actually got different jobs now. So Craig's is still assigned to everything. He's actually pretty good at everything. But she can't do anything. She's not very good at everything. So that's cool though, Craig C is able to do everything across the base, but she can do most things. So, can't complain too much of that. She's much better at researching than he is, for example. Hopefully we'll see her jump on the researching soon, because we we really do want trees, just to get ourselves a stable income off them. I mean, it's exciting getting a poke table in. <clears throat> Put in for granite. Too bad. Get some granite chunks falling from the dogs. So they'll move it to there. There we go. That'll massively speed up this whole effort. Ah, lovely. Mind of Rake Presley or Mr. Cheese again. A bit cold? Yeah, it's still cold. Mr. Craigsy desperately needs a heater in that room. So let's for now just stick in a heater next to the bed temporarily. Very nicely done. Everybody's doing really well, I think. Craig when he wakes up, he'll have his meal as usual, and then he'll go straight to making a parker. We've got plenty of leather and things and our materials to make it with, so she really can have whatever she wants. Oh, elephant leather, 129, that's quite nice. Love the soundtrack this game as well. 
It's quite nice, isn't it? Relaxing. These rooms, oh, these rooms are quite cold. Let's go for an over the wall vent all the way through. Go for one there and one there. Just to equalize this, the heater in here should pass the air through. It's the same way the cool passes through these two. In fact, we could do that there and save ourselves the effort of building one of those. And then we can move the heater all the way over there. Help equalize the temperature a little bit. Ah, oh, Mr. Cheese with the cleaning. Yes, Mr. Cheese. So I don't think we're ready to take on another person yet. When we can, Hawk will be our our next colonist, our third on the team. All well, these ones ready to build. There we go. Made a duster. So hopefully, Mr. Cheese will go and equip that now. Oh, they got a park run. Oh, that was the duster. Gotcha. So this is the last one, isn't it? Make a jacket. Yep. Jacket's almost made. So it's not that anything's dirty anymore, because it's actually rather lovely in here. We've got two chefs now, haven't we? Does uh does Craigsy cook? Craigs, he does cook. Sorry, uh, Mr. Cheese does cook. Brilliant. I'm so happy with this. So we've got the dogs hauling stuff. We've got Mr. Cheese helping out about. And we've got Craigsy still running the show. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Okay, well, we've got an excess off as well. Limestone. So... Everyone's him. Level up construction. I think 20 is the maximum. But right now he's already insane at it. Maybe we just can't get any higher now. Alright, we're following. How's our. What are we looking at? Right, we've got two people coming at us. Yeah, they've got bows. Hel oh, the helmets like. Those toques are those helmets. They are toques and toques. Cool. I want these carcasses gone, but I don't know how to how to get rid of them to be honest with you. Should we just undesignate power there and can we close that and heat this room up massively? Will that destroy them? Or does it not make a difference because they're inside anyway? It probably does make a difference, does it, because they're inside? Yeah, it's annoying. straight into our traps. Oh, we haven't got power down here done yet. Well, that's annoying. Where's power? There's power. I just couldn't find that for life of me. So, I put a switch in here which will only affect this turret and another switch here will affect these two. So we just segregate out where the switch, what the switches do. So leave this powered on so we can do all of this stuff. And we're going to stop stripping off the dead people as well. Because nobody seems to want to buy their, their clothes off of us. Craigsy's construction should be shooting up this, but yeah, it is. He's going to spend ages making this bed, isn't he? Yes. Be worth it, though. Oh, right, there we go. Ah. <sighs> So, I wanted to make this bed, and then if it's nicer than our royal bed, we'll put the old wooden one in with Mr. Cheese. Craig Z, because they're, sorry, he's Mr. Cheese, but because he's so much better, we are going to favour Craig Z in this. 
I tell you what, Mr. Cheese hasn't been back and seen Mr. Cheese yet, which is heartbreaking. I don't know if Hawk's here either. Hawk might not be here. He subbed me two hours ago, he said he'd be back, but uh, doesn't look like he came back. This is going to be a multiple day thing, isn't it? And we're going straight back on the construction again. <clears throat> if we can get that to level 18, we'll just, we're just so good at this. So, so good at this. He's even not too bad at shooting. That's leveled up quite quickly. It doesn't appear to be dropping off too much either, does it? Because I don't know why this one drops off, but the other one doesn't. I have no idea, in fact. He's got food poisoning again. Which sucks because we're the cook. We're the incompetent cook that keeps giving them food poisoning. Maybe it's over level 10 it drops off or something. I have no idea. Craigsley is about to be incredible at construction. After this, I don't think we need to force him to do it anymore. We'll just we'll leave him to do his thing. Almost there. I just want to level up after that, we won't even force them into it anymore. We'll just say, do what you want. That's the food poisoning for you. I know, I know you really, really want to do this, and you're at a minor break risk. However, just push on. Tomorrow again, once he's passed all this hunger and stuff, we'll get him back onto it. <clears throat> you smell a trap? Why do you smell a trap? Amazed you're back. I didn't realise you were here. I mean, you've been so quiet. Good to hear you back, though. So, waiting for our third person. You will be our third person, Hawk. I have honoured Mr. Cheese, who is yet to chat since we recruited Mr. Cheese. Surprisingly. Which I thought would have been their first... First port of call, most important thing in their day, but nope. And we'll try it and get back in the construction. This is how I detect the trap. <laughs> oh, nice one. Very nice. I have to admit, there are multiple traps around, but sadly, a lot of them require construction at the moment. Oh. Consider using a healthy... I don't have that many negotiators, I'm going to be honest. So, do we want to keep the husky? This is our first chance to sell them in a while. Okay, leathers. Should we sell our leathers? I think we should. We've got so many now. And we don't really use any of them. Not enough as we should anyway, so. No? What was the no to? Oh, what, should we keep the husky? Was the no, we shouldn't keep the husky. Oh, I really like the animals. This is such a shame, you're like, you're another person who said that. Trains intellectual, that's cool. What's the beauty on it? I think we should get that. Let's treat ourselves to getting Game of Ur board. Ah, oh, I don't know why people hate the huskies. They're so great. The animals are great. They do so much hauling. Like, I've only got two guys and they haven't had to worry about hauling this whole time. An army of chickens. <laughs> Oh, so I was, um, I've only ever watched like one real Let's Play or two, but one was years ago, so most recent one I watched. Um, and he tried just having an army of animals that charged out. It was, I don't know, it started off well, like in the early game, but as he got to the late game, they just got decimated. So much. 
Uh, so, we're going to buy the game of Ur. Ur. Like so. And we're going to install our game of Ur over here. No idea how it works. Do we put it on table? No. Do we just put it on the floor like that? I don't know. Do I put it sideways? Do I put it the way it's led there on the floor? I think we put it that way. Oh. I assume we put it that way. Don't know. Let's do that. Go. They ate everything. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that's a little bit overkill, to be fair, having that many chickens. Also, we're going to move our trading spot to into the communal area. I don't need to hang out here anymore. Is there other, 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 other misc? Trading spot, boom. We now have a proper table and stuff for you to go hang about at. I'd stay out the cooler, but hey, if you want to go in there, that's your choice. Yeah, I can imagine that was a pain. That sounds overkill, but surely having two pets isn't as bad as having that many, you know? That's a lot. Insane. He's so good at construction. We might have to put him down to doing some of these. Let's just see if we'll build some of these quick. See, it looks so good. I think this place is actually looking really good. I'm happy with it. It's Craigsey. Where are you getting gifts from? That's lovely. See, like, I don't, I don't really need to worry about this because I'm pretty sure one of my animals is going to grab it. Yeah, and just haul it in. See, how great is that? Why are people so against this? I think hauling is my least favourite let's say activity in air quotes in this game least favorite thing to have to do so to have animal animals do that for me it's just great it's just the animals christ animals <laughs> he's loving this construction is this halfway now Yep. Oof. At some point we'll have to dump them back on the stone cutter's table to be fair. He's playing Ur. That's great. Level him up again. Planet known master of construction. basically the best constructor there is at this point. That's insane. Some really good mods out there, man. Oh, we're finally getting some research done as well. That is the first time in literally hours and hours of gameplay we're actually getting some done some research at least this room's comfortable now oh we've not even got the vent in there yet but this room's comfortable have we got much steel left oh we're out of steel again already yeah that explains why the traps aren't being maintained Right, we might have to set Mr. Craigsey out on a mining trip to 
Grab some steel. Get him to do that first, just those two. And then tomorrow, we'll get him back to go on the steel. We'll get him to grab the silver first though. Finally getting somewhere with that bed though. Thankfully. with him. There we go. Sweet. Bed's almost finished. So, so close to being finished. Thank God. That was, uh, that took days and days to build this bed. Although I assume it would, to be fair, to carve a bed out of limestone probably would take days, so... It's not like it's completely unrealistic, is it? Mr. Chi seems to be doing okay. Cheered right up. Slept in the cold. Okay, I guess it is still cold. We just need... Ah, of course we don't have steel, so we can't do that. So, Craigsy's going to have to go mine a steel. Mine a steel. Mine steel. Up here. Yeesh. Oh, it is up here. It just needs hauling. This is Craigsy's day taken up now. Mining should level up soon, which will be great. So it's nice that they come up and they collect all the steel, for example. So all of this is being hauled down, where he's still sat up here. Just brilliant stuff for us. I mean, Craigsy doesn't have to make tons and tons of trips to come and get all this stuff every time. are still now being hauled back. Tracy is a legend right now. Keep going, buddy. We're so close to leveling up that mining. Go on, push on, push on. You can do it. I believe in you. I know you're hungry. There you go. I won't queue up anything more from today, I don't think. I don't think I'll bother him with this right now. Is he a major break risk? No, Mr. Cheese is. Jeez, that, that snuck up on me. Right, Mr. Cheese. What are your needs? Intense pain. Oh, I've got food poisoning. Yeah, fair enough. And the rotting corpse has got to be destroyed as well. That's cool. Hey, lovely. So, in the morning... He can have some food, and then we're going to get him to finish off this power cable. This power conduit. That's annoying, isn't it? Rambles growing over it, just lovely. Ah, we've got that one done as well. Sixty-eight years old. I don't want a sixty-eight year old. They're a bit no. Old. Sorry, Hawk, buddy. He's ignored. We need another youngster in. Okay, so we need to find something else to make traps out of. So we'll go for limestone, so we've got an abundance of it now. Bed's almost finished though. So good at mining and construction now. Uh oh. Should 100% rest. 
I make you rest. Best at medical now. Mr. Cheese. Can you not treat Craigsy? Medical to allow self. Why isn't you being treated? We got medicine, we got medicine. There we go, there we go. And now Mr. Cheese is going in for the help. Good, good. Very, very good. So how are we done? Hopefully. Oh, 85%. Quality tend. So that should push our immunity. I think the immunity goes up quicker, the better the tend. So as you can see, it's now overtaken the malaria miner. Or the malaria, which is at a minor stage. So this is great. This is very great. Wow. Mr. Cheese might have just saved Craigsy's life. And that's fine, because Craigsy's going to produce, hopefully, a lovely limestone bed. Anybody out there that knows, when I deconstruct something, do I get all the materials back? Ooh, lovely. Ah, oh, yes, Mr. Cheese. Finally sorting out our dead body problem. Lovely. Now all our bodies are disposed of, we no longer need the switch actives either. <clears throat> Loads are still again, 814. Most of our traps should be now. Green back is steel. We don't want sandstone, we're going for limestone. Those ones are steel. Okay, cool. All of them off for now. Where's Mr. Cheese? There we go. Finally in bed. You don't know, damn that sucks. Because I wouldn't mind deconstructing the wooden royal bed and making it out of something else, but I'm worried I won't get all the gold back, so... Defending himself, 26% immunity. Okay, he's still doing fine, he's still doing fine. You should see this out. He's seen many diseases out before, so... I have no doubt he will be absolutely fine. <clears throat> Doing is being redone. Trap like this as well. As soon as he's out of bed, the first thing we'll do is we'll put him onto stone making. So we can finish construction. Get some more traps in place. We really need that done now. <clears throat> Well, Mr. Cheese can go and drop off the resources. She's not very good at construction, I don't believe. In fact, she literally doesn't do construction. She's barely heard of construction. It's not a concept. <laughs> Incredible. Incredibly useless stuff. I have to go for a break in a minute. I'm going to make a cup of tea. Wow, we are doing really well. Really, really well on the whole malaria front. Already tending. Perfect. Let's see the quality of the tent from her compared to him. 100%. She's so good. She is such a good doctor. Which is, I guess, exactly what we needed, was we did need a doctor to come in. Which, considering she's only got one more skill level than Craigsy, it's because she's passionate about it, but she just seems to do it a lot, lot better. I mean, I thought passion was just how quickly you learnt it, but clearly there's more to it than that, because she seems to be doing it so much better. Craigsy just needs to rest up and get better. So, look at this. Still low expectations, but... We're clearly becoming richer because that low expectations bit is slowly dropping off and they're expecting more and more. We've got nice rooms and things being made. Mr. Cheese, could you feed Craigsy please? And when does he need treatment as well? Five hours. I just want to make sure Craigsy doesn't die of malaria because that would suck. 
We're good so far. as well. We'll end up with you. In order to get food you do have to go through. In order to drop dead bodies off you do have to go into there. You do actually have to go in and drop the dead bodies off. Or we could have that go one and that go the other. Because what I don't want is people to go all the way through. You know opening the doors twice just lets out more. Is this way we can guarantee we're going in there to use that kind of thing. I'm trying to work on power efficiency. How do you increase the efficiency of the batteries. I'd love to know, but no idea. Researching. We might actually get some trees soon. I'm so desperate for some trees. Else we'd want, we could go for some auto doors after that. We could go for flak armor, get some proper defense. That would be nice. Or we could go for some of this stuff. An auto cannon, do long range turrets. Okay, uranium slug turret, uranium slugs which tear through plastic like paper. Wow. Amazing. And these are all your escape stuff, I guess. What does deep drilling do? Never got this far before. Okay. Oop, supposed to be off out of bed. Good immunity. Booyah. And his malaria is slowly dying off. He is. He's doing so well. Ratty apparel. Has he got ratty apparel? Oh, he does. He doesn't seem to. It's not that bad. This seems pretty good. Oh, he's, he's got trousers? He's got trousers? Yeah. What's wrong with this, guys? Somebody tell me what's, what's wrong with this stuff. That doesn't seem too bad, does it? So close to being finished. I hope it's like excellent or masterwork, you know, something like that. Ease. Ease. Excellent. Fine. So. It's the shirt, is it? Oh, does it? I figured it was a. Uh... Ah, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So I figured just 50% or whatever was fine, it was once it got down to 10-20% you had to worry about it. But, okay, if you start worrying about it that quick, that's uh, that's my bad. Let's get on to... Maybe we should just keep clothes sat around. Like that. Cool. Thanks, Craigsy. Craigsy here to look after Craigsy. Stop that for now. Clearly not doing it, so... Getting some trees in. I don't know what trees we're going to grow, but we'll grow some trees. Down to 88 meals, I'm struggling for food. I say struggling. We've dropped off quite a bit of food. Do I have to send somebody out hunting again, won't we, Crixie? Okay, cold snap shouldn't be too bad. These are all equalised out. Anyway, we're going to check the difference between these, won't we? So, Beauty 225. Okay, 170819. 9, 17, 1, 8, 1, 9. Okay, so surgery was higher on the other one, rest effectiveness better on this one. 
and the beauty is not as good. So we do now need to extend this room by one to fit in the wooden bed. <coughs> we'll uninstall both of these. behind it and then put in a granite wall there like that just to extend the room a little bit So we need to get some defences in place, don't we? Let's go. Watch done with that. Flick switch. Luckily we've got enough time to actually put in these defences. The problem is like, stuff like these deer just keep triggering our defences. We'll hunt that one. Take a risk, live a little. Go. There you go. God's sake. Okay. Please go rescue Craigsy. You put the bed in. Say it, Craigsy. Miss Cheese, hurry up. And then rescue Craig Z and then move the rifle. Not to say it, Craig Z. No, don't equip it, don't equip it. Ball it. Perfect. Such a good doctor. This is a really, really good doctor. Oh, that was annoying though. Rixie, equip that when you wake up. I have to say it was a little bit annoying that we had all the trap stuff set up for there. Okay. So now they're walking away, but this one just walked in. Stop it. Stop. Amazing the amount of animals that are just wandering into the base. Should we put some wooden ones up in front just as a, a guaranteed there's something there? Maybe. In the same that side, just put some wooden ones out. Just as a, these are just there to kill kind of thing, you know? Over there, we could cut all of these as well. Chop wood at least. How's Craigsy doing? Should be healing up quite well now. Right arm destroyed. Ouch. Okay, so that might require some operations, I'm guessing. Some sort of surgery. That's crazy. So does he now not have a right arm at all? Is that it? That's non-recoverable? Or... I'm guessing not. We almost need to... Do we need to queue up an operation for Craigsy? Add Bill. Oh, can just do pegged legs. We can't actually do... 
right arms. Jesus. Okay. Hmm. Hey, Care Killer. Nice to meet you, man. Uh, I was planning on playing RimWorld until I play some Rust later on. So I'm playing Rust with some friends. Not sure if I can stream it, though. Can do, but usually we're a lot slower paced than I think a stream would require. We do a lot of just dicking about and not getting a lot done. So I don't know if that would actually be quite infuriating to watch on stream. So, yeah, I'm planning on just playing Rust for a while now. Let's do some trading. Let's sell the weapons we don't want. Like so. And then let's buy in some herbal medicine. Cool. Hey Hawk, how's it going man? <laughs> I had missed you ma'am. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the follow, Kekula. So, we've got quite a list now of people, so we need um, Hawk to get in there, and we now need Care Killer. So we've got two more people queued up to become colonists. I'm not going for any of the rescue calls, though. That's the reason I just rejected that. I, they're too far away, and it's a bit of a risk when we've only got one person, and the other one's injured with one arm now. I mean, I assume that means that... See, that's just bruising his right arm and shoulder, right shoulder. But destroyed? That's completely different, surely. You know, that's... Destroyed to me means it's almost gone. But maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, so do I need to replace his arm now? Is that what destroyed means? Because that's what I'd assume it means, but... But this says bruised right shoulder. So bruising his right arm and right shoulder. But that's just, you know, destroyed seems a lot worse than bruised. That's kind of my my point. He's still bleeding out. Doesn't seem to be. He's doing, I don't know why this bar seems to be filling up, doesn't it? Does that mean he's dying? That's sick. This won't need the wooden ones out, they just keep wandering in. Destroyed equals it's gone. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But the description on it is dreadful. Cause. Hit Craig's abstract shot of bruising his right arm and right shoulder. Cool. Okay, so we do 100% need a new, a new arm on there. Is he dying? I can't tell if that's getting higher or not. I think it is. Does that filling up mean he's dying? <laughs> oh, Hawk. <laughs> he's not dying. Okay, that's fine then. So what does the red filling up mean? Yeah, you do need a big, a new big toe. I'm not as worried about the big toe, though, I have to say. I'm more worried about the arm. Let's go for... You know, don't be wrong. I am very, very much concerned about... Oh, there we... oh so it just means... Okay, that's fine. So, you know, while I am concerned about your toe, I am very much more concerned about the missing arm. That's my... My main port call here. Okay, that will go there once we've moved the bed. Are you correct, eh? I mean, he seems pretty happy, despite the, uh, you know, the arm. <laughs> oh god, I'm so concerned about that. We lost an arm. I'm not going to reload. I'm going to leave it going. 
But, uh... Yeah, don't get me wrong, you do need a new big toe. <laughs> he has to get a whole new leg! We can't just give him a prosthetic toe? God, medicine is so basic in RimWorld. That's ridiculous, you have to get a whole new leg just to replace the toe. That seems absurd, doesn't it? Maybe it's just me, but that just seems crazy. Finally getting all this put back together, all these traps and stuff in place. This is my fault for not making traps a high priority. I'm sorry, Craigsy. This is entirely my fault. Hey, there we go. That's looking good now. I assume he'll botch construction stuff a lot more now. Yeah, can you imagine? Like, oh, doctor, doctor, I, I think I broke my toe. Ah, oh, no worries, we'll take it from the ankle. Like, you know, that's... That's absurd. That's absolutely absurd. Ah. Uh, great, rhinoceros leather. I could great with my new leg. Sorry, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit bitter about this. I'll admit. I'm a little bit very bitter. <laughs> Just God damn it. Machinery? Yes boy. There we go. We totally won that. Traps almost finished being put in here. Oh, Muffalo. Muffalo soldier. Oh. Okay. How are we doing now? <sighs> Craigsy, Craigsy, Craigsy. That's it now, he's scarred for life. These traps are keeping him sane, putting them back in. Hiding behind his wall. Definitely gonna be something like the Terminator. I'll give you that, man. I will give you that. I like that you're optimistic about this. You're actually following him with his needs here of being an optimist, so fair play to you, but <laughs> I don't think I could be optimistic in a situation like this. I love how Hawk just disappears and then pops back again every half an hour just to make sure I'm still here. I love how people are so against pets, but you're obsessed with a bear. It's amazing. Damn it. That'd have caused some damage. Oh, I can't believe he's got one arm. Sad. Fine. Yeah, okay, yeah, making a trap with one arm does take skill. Oh, damn it. Things were going so well today. You know, we only had minor pets slaughtered. That was as bad as it got. But now, ooh. Right, we've got to unpower things we don't need. All you animals are going to get slaughtered. I'm so sorry, it's just, it's got to happen now. I'm annoyed. <laughs> He's still so good at shooting given the whole arm situation. Oh, I haven't researched solely yet. Um, so I'm working on trees at the moment. <laughs> I can't even sew trees. Are solar panels that much better? Do they produce more power than the wind farm, do they? 
Oh wow. Hopefully this will cheer him up. I feel like he's just... No offense to you, but I feel like he's inept to everything now. It's just not the same. Cool. Okay, in that case we will drop the research on that and go for solar instead. I assume this... Yeah, we keep the progress. That's fine. How did I get what gun? This gun. I started off as the Rich Explorer, which just comes with a charge rifle. So you start off with medicine, um, a charge rifle, some fairly good stuff. So, that was all. So I started off with one person, basically. So you start off with one person with loads of materials, and you get a chance to make a base and recruit from nothing. Which is what I was going for with the whole follower thing, so. It's worked out really well, actually. Let's give some trade. Right. Gonna hold on to the husky, of course. I'm in love with the husky now. We're gonna get rid of all the leathers. Basically, our most sold thing is leather at this point. We've got loads of wood sat around, too. Uh, do we need anything? We go for the flak pants, I guess. Well, they're poor, though. A wooden war mask. Excellent. <laughs> Wouldn't be my reaction, but fine. A muffalo wool duster. It's expensive. Really expensive. Oh, cloth. We did need cloth, but we're so far through glowing cotton. I sold it for 4k. What? What? That's absurd. You must have stockpiled so much leather. I don't have anywhere near that level of leather. I'll get rid of that just because two is just hogging a spot, but that's so much leather. Jeez. There we go. We're about to get some more leather anyway from this bird, but... Cargo parts! Yay, that's good. We will get straight onto the hauling, please. There we go. <clears throat> and Craigsy, now that he's relatively okay, can get back on with stone cutting. Which again, with one arm, is impressive. I can't believe he's gone through so many plagues and things, and then he loses a right arm and a right toe in a fight. Oh, Craigsy. We're going to try and tame the bear. I mean, this is a big deal, taming a bear. In fact, can we even feed the bear, or does it have to have raw meat? It can carry a lot. Does it have to have... Oh, vegetables, raw meat. No, that's fine. We could totally feed this bear. Yep. We're going for blue. Oh god. God, I'm terrified. I'm actually terrified. This could go so badly. I'll be gutted if this is what kills Craigsy. If Craigsy, real Craigsy, ends up killing Rimworld Craigsy, trying to do this, I'll be upset. We've got an alpaca. Yay. Probably going to slaughter you, but welcome for now, I guess. Let's get the alpaca inside the wall. So in you go, buddy. Dogs are slacking on there, carrying stuff. Just confirm, how do you want Baloo spelt? Do you want it spelt with 1A, 1L, and 4 zeros? Or what's the... Is it B-A-L-L, double O, something like that? Okay, cool. 1L, 2 O's. Alright. Go to bed, he's got a big day of... Taming animals ahead of him. Wow, we've emptied out here, haven't we? We've sold all our junk, and suddenly we've got a really empty stockpile. Feels weird. We've got so much hay as well, we could sell all this hay. We're not going to use it, I don't think, so... Twenty-five raw food left, bent meals. How good are you with animals? Nine. Four. Okay, so tomorrow 
He's gonna get up and have a meal, a nice simple meal. Where's the bear gone? Bear. Where's the bear gone? Grizzly bear. Oh, it's a grizzly bear. It's not even a brown bear. And then he's gonna go for the whole taming thing. I believe in you, Craigsy. Somebody has to. It's gonna be me. <laughs> I'm so nervous he's gonna get killed by a bear. Oh, I've got no idea. I've just got this feeling he's gonna get slaughtered by a bear. It's a really horrible feeling. Oh, can we not make him name the bear? Where's the bear gone? Oh, we've got no usable food. So we have we have to have raw meat, I guess. So in that case, we'll have to cut down on the whole do forever. Let's go until we have 80 simple meals, because that seems way more doable. Okay. And then next time we hunt something, we can use the meat to tame a bear. We'll lose a good bear. <laughs> lose a good bear until I try and tame him and he takes my face off. Sure. Sure, sure. Let's go hunt the turkey. Okay, so we've put a lot of effort into this. We're going to hunt this turkey. And then we're going to use the meat to tame a bear. This sounds ridiculous and it kind of is. Have we even got food to feed Baloo once he gets here? I'm not sure we do. We'll have to make do, I guess. No usable food. What food do we need to... Vegetable raw meat, pups, seeds, animal products, meats. Processed foods, yeah, liquor and kibble. So, what do we need to tame him? Why can't we... Why can't we tame him? That's a shame. But his carry capacity is 161, which is crazy. So if we compare that to the one of the huskies, so to the husky, what's your carry capacity? 64. <laughs> crazy. Okay, we apparently don't have the stuff to tame him with, so we'll go for the... Uh, there we go. Oh, that's why we didn't, uh, we hadn't killed it, so. Okay, so after this we should be able to tame him. Right, we're going to go for the save. I'm going to save scum this if we get killed. I am going for a save. One game. There we go. And then we'll head to the animal. Oh, I can't tame while he's sleeping. Okay. This seems crazy, but I'll do it. I'll go for the bear. That seems crazy. This is this is crazy. So many other things you could be worrying about. Instead, I'm chasing a bear for you. Do we might even go up a construction level again because of all this. Okay, here we go, here we go. He's going for the tame. It's like a 10% chance he's going to go horrific on a failed attempt. Tame failed. Okay, fine. Fine. Failed once. Every time we fail, it's another step towards death. God. feeling Blue's gonna get us killed, man. I just, I have a feeling. I'll save Scum every time we go to tame him. I will save it, just in case. Do I trap yourself in? Surely you'd go to the other side, and then, and then, and the same thing again. Why should we go here, and then build it? This arm isn't a handicap, it's, it's evolution. He's gonna walk straight over this trap, isn't he? Oh, it's 
takes ages to build the limestone ones. We haven't got any cotton yet still. We're still in on cotton so we can put together our poker table. It's a masterwork table. That's insane. A masterwork marble table was the beauty on that. 18. Lovely. Very cool. Although it's a ugly room, so we're working on it. We haven't got a light in here either, have we? There we go. We'll put a light in the corner. Okay, here we go, here we go. Saving. Survived. Didn't tame. Bear went to sleep. Fine. And he could do the resting as well. We are going to have to put him to do something else tomorrow. Sorry, we can't just focus on the bear. We've got to survive as well. So we're going to have him cut some stone again. In fact, we have stuff to haul. We have stuff to carve. Let's just grab all the granite. We have pack animals for such reasons, so. This she's doing hauling granite, lovely. Surely the dog should be onto this, right? There we go, he's hauling. He's gone all the way over there to grab some stone. For some reason. It's right there, man. Let's grab what's next to you. So you can grab from there, make, put there. Grab, make, put there. It's the idea anyway. We haven't done any research yet either. Mr. Cheese has been just so busy. That's a good haul for now. There you go. <laughs> he had some time to do some recreation. He pulled himself up a little bit, so. He'll be fine. He's not unhappy yet. He's got some ratty apparel, which is the top, but it's not dreadful yet. He's got a lot more working to do. We'll make some more clothes up here. Then we've got them, so. Yeah, we've got scheduled clothes to make. We should go for a tuk as well. Go for some hats. Soon we'll be able to actually finish all of this. I hope how empty our stockpile is now. Those won't be. Food wandered in. Oh, we've got a broken battery as well, which sucks. So when he wakes up, again, simple meal, stone cut, the place broken. I think, yeah, we're going to move this door because people are just using it to walk through now. I like it's much further to walk to go around, is it? So. Got our battery up and running again. We're going to put some solar panels in, by the way. We've got loads of room down here and out here, so we'll dump some down here, I think. And like I said before, we can just put wind turbines facing the other way here. 
to double our wind power throughput. Stop him. What's really nice is that Mr. Cheese, while useless at construction, there you go, literally barely heard of it, is doing a very, very grand job of hauling things into place ready so that Craigsy just has to go over and actually build it. So, Mr. Cheese is doing a fantastic job. However, there's only sadly one stage up from the dogs at this point. <laughs> so, it, it depends how you look at it really, doesn't it? I'd actually like to copy the settings for this. Put another zone in there. And then paste. We'll just dump, you know, more rocks there basically. We're not going to a bandit camp. Suicide for us. So. We don't have the capabilities to take that down. Gregsy's not even that good at shooting. <clears throat> See? The dogs and uh, everything together. Okay, I agree. We, you do really want a blue. He'd probably do a really good job of hauling all the, all the stone, wouldn't he? In his defense, he would do well at this, I think. He would do very, very well at this. Got 13 t-shirts. Jeez, that's a lot of gold. Um... <laughs> Nearby settlement, Crapston. <laughs> Lol. Um, I think we're good. Blue is a good boy. Blue's a good boy to leave our faces, I agree. I agree. some point he's gonna look at one of us and go oh yeah you look tasty and then that'll be it game over but I don't know what the benefits are of making kibble over normal food it's got so much hay really do selling the hay next time somebody's in town until the cotton we harvested. Did it go into the table? The cloth? How do we make cloth? How do we make cloth, guys? Guys? I figured I harvested the cotton. So, and then do I need to make it on the tailor's bench into cloth? Make cloth? Nope. I don't know. Hey, there we go. This stuff's ready to be built as well. So hopefully, he just keeps building. Or not. Man hunting snow hares. Um, all four of them are cute, terrifying. So, we've traps in place. We've got a couple. So that is 120 shots. And then does it explode or just need some slight repair? Because I, I thought repair, but down here this one actually exploded. There was like nothing left of it, so. May explode when damaged. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. These we down to. 72, yeah. Okay, we're going for the tame. Oh, okay, we gave up again. Every time he goes for the tame, he gives up. I'm guessing the bear goes to sleep every time.
Oh, I've really loved this hat going on here. Finally going to the construction some tiles again. It's gonna be worth it, it'll look so good. Oh, this is it. it sucks. So my plan is that the wooden traps, the cheap rubbish ones, will do the majority of the damage to these stupid animals I keep wandering in. And then it'll go to limestone, and then finally go to the steel for the ones we actually need to worry about, the things we're actually getting close in. Those with the light. And stone cone. As you notice, as soon as we get the stone there, Mr. Cheese is fantastic at putting it in place ready to go. Oh, wow, we've got 5,000 silver. That's great, actually. Takes it all, lines it all up, ready to go. So those walls are pretty much ready to be built now. We have a very good team here with a very good system going. Excellent bed, masterwork marble table. Absolutely fantastic. Lovely, lovely. Really, really happy with how this place has come along, actually. Food is okay for now. Oh no, Polo's ill. And Polo, well, we need like dog hospital beds, is that what we need to go for next? Oh, these guys are all up in the morning. Four in the morning, they're all up and about. Halfway to leveling up, every time we get close to it, we uh, we seem to stop or do something else and it dies down again. This cheese keeping everything nice and clean as well. It's very, very lovely. The whole base just looks quite nice, doesn't it? There we go, okay, we're actually pushing towards leveling now, which is nice. Coming up on 17,000. Out of 28, which isn't too bad. Almost out of granite though, so once we've put all of this, there's going to be nothing else. This cheese isn't laying anything out right now for us to work on afterwards. Follow me mod is just great. So, so good. Okay, tiles been built. Good to get the poker table in, but I just can't work out how to make cloth from cotton. Or where our cotton even went. I might have sold it. In hindsight, I might have sold it to the Lockwood's trader by accident. I don't think so. 
We'd have to check. I don't think I did, though. But think is the key word there. I think I've struggled to get FPS games because I think the way it is. Because if I can't hit shift or control, how am I going to crouch and sprint? No. A wanderer joins. A w wow, good at construction and shooting and mining and crafting. Capable of nothing. Is kind, <laughs> but doesn't like women. I mean, that's that's not great. But I guess welcome. Um, didn't expect that at all. So welcome, Hawk. Okay, so this is an interesting development. Is he good at crafting? It was, wasn't he? Yes. He's going to go straight onto that then, and then that. And we also need to make him a bedroom. We're so far behind on making a bedroom. Let's do that first. Make clothes. Cool. You're making your own clothes at this point, mate, so... But Hawk, hey, welcome to the team. If you're still watching... You're now here. And you are equally good at building, or almost as good at building as Craig Z. He's pushing his. What is he pushing now? Coming up to it. Look at this. I can't believe we've got another person joined so quick. Brilliant. We've suddenly gone from one to three people in two hours. Uh, we've got one more person, so Kate Killer, you're my next next person that joins. You are the name. If you're still watching, have no fear, I haven't forgotten you. Rixie's construction is almost leveled up. everything to construct right now, isn't it? Yikes. Let's get old Hawk here. Oh, we're out of, um, we're out of leather and stuff. Fine. So, I think what we're going to have to do is he's going to have to drop the charge rival and the steel helmet. I can't believe I'm doing this, but crazy man. You're off of, uh... You're off Judy. It is now... Hawk is now our hunter. Alright, Craigsy. Go of the charge rifle. Why is he not assigned to hunt? Surely he is. Hunt. Yep, yeah, Hawk's assigned to hunt. That's fine. Oh no, Craig's still better at hunting. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. Take the back. I thought for some reason that Hawk was, but he's not. He's... Wait, Hawk's 8. Craig's 7. So what's hunting set by then? I don't know. Craig's better at shooting this. We'll leave it. So I take the back. We will leave that. Assume the dog's gone to get the helmet. Oh no, grabbing up some steel and stuff. Lovely. Oh, okay. The lynx. And lots of granite. Let's get Hawk on the construction. On the carving, rather. We're all bringing stuff back, so. Oh, Mr. Cheese has gone for the helmet. Interesting. Okay. Fine to whoever on the helmet. I found it weird that Craig C's got the highest shooting, but hunting is lower. It said five. So, I have no idea. No idea what that is. I have no idea how uh, hunting's calculated. Hawk, you can relax, buddy. Grab the granite chunks. So what we'll do is we'll mark them as two halls, so then when these spaces are free, the animals and the people will go and grab them at least. Put them in place ready to be used at some point. Down to 62 meals for dropping quite quick. So we do need to get some hunting. Oh, it's an Ibex. That's fine, it's an Ibex. I thought it was a Lynx for a split second. That's no, it's the Ibex. 
But Muffalo, they have 2% chance to attack. Damn, that was very quick and efficient. Brutal on the Muffalo murder. Do we need to get another weapon now though? Ah, oh, that's a lot of meat as well. That's gonna make us some nice meals. Alright, let's follow him as he goes to try and tame Baloo the grizzly bear. Ah, oh, I can't see us ending well. There we go. Let's be honest, that's what we've been waiting for, isn't it? And nobody else has a weapon. Craigsy man, I hope you're happy. This is a... Uh... This is it. He's going to die. There's no way we're going to get him. We can flick the switch and stuff as much as we want, but... There's no way he can outrun that bear. No. Oh, he does not have one, I think. Oh, he does. He's got a revolver. He does indeed. You're right. Okay. That's fine, it's fine. Uh, Blue didn't kill him. He only merely left him to bleed out. As now, and I always lost his left leg as well, so... There we go, he's gonna die. He's totally gonna die. Yeah, so we can't save Craigsy. He's a load. <sighs> Craigsy, Craigsy, Craigsy. Why do you want this bear so much? That's what I'm curious about. What is it? What's the obsession with the bear? I feel like the bear's just, it's our long-term death, isn't it? There's no... Nothing good is going to come of getting this bear, I'm telling you. I don't know, I mean, you said the last one was blue as well, and, and he died, so... I don't know. I think for now, we're going to hunt some buffalo, and we're going to leave the bear alone. I need to wait for these to disappear. Shame can't right-click to... Dismiss them. Oh, all bears are blue. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Fair enough. Oh, you're doing a fine job, ma'am. I'm sorry, buddy. We just can't risk it. We're going to have to hold off for a little bit. What are you doing for your immunity? Immunity's doing fine. Okay. See, hunting buffalo going really well. Orc really needs someone to sleep, doesn't he? Can we make another royal bed? No, we don't have the gold for it. That's a shame. Would have been nice to give him something nice too. Oh, we still don't have enough to make anything in there. I thought the muffalo would have gone in there, but clearly not. food. That's the thing, we tame him by giving him food, so I don't believe that uh, it was the food that led him to commit the crime. It was, uh, he had a chance. He had a chance to be tamed and he turned on us. But not good food. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Fair enough. I think it was muffalo meat. I mean, that's, that's not like pretty good food. We'll leave it for now. We might come back to it. We might come back to getting a bear, but for now I think we need to give Blue some space to calm down, to get through with it. We can't do with Craigsy losing a leg as well as a arm and a toe. Losing the opposite leg, you know, he's just completely useless then.
nice box we got 300 uh, that's enough to get a lot of this done we should be knowing the end of our construction plans soon muffalo meat's bad food I disagree I think muffalo meat would be great I think it's a very big meal for a for a bear Hunting still hears. Hear the distant gunshots ring out. <laughs> I feel like you've watched too much, uh. Ah, oh, what's it called? Jungle Book. I think that's the issue. I think you're mistaking Jungle Book and Rimworld. <laughs> <laughs> Back up to a nice amount of meals now. Run up on 18, we've got lots of spare food going to be set around after this. of buffalo fur as well, or blue fur in this case. We can make some stuff with. Jesus is doing such a good job of laying down all these tiles and stuff already. It really, really is. Alright, let's go craft some yeah, Cross and clothes. We need quite a bit of it, so. Mr. Hawk's crafting. Mr. Hawk. Go on, everybody missed something now. And Hawk's crafting is quite high, so. Should be quite good. He is a strong master of this. Make it now. T shirt. Normal and good. Great. Can't complain there. In fact, Mr. Cheese picked one up, so. <clears throat> there we go. Nice. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. That wasn't even intentional. You mean you mean like that? No. <laughs> you mean like that bay, that bear? Well, I mean he tried to walk around the base. He really did. Um, however, ah. <laughs> uh. So close to leveling up. I want it so badly. I didn't mean to trap your bear. You walked into the trap. I assure you that was completely unplanned, non-intentional. He walked into the trap. It's evolution, man, you know. You know, just like those times I saved you. Oh, we're out of marble, aren't we? Sucks much make some granite chest tables instead. There we go, keep going, keep going. No, no, no. So close to leveling. Let's go for the granite chest table. Like so. I just, I really want to level up this construction finally.
Okay, I'll admit, that was my fault. But we were the food. In fact, you, Craigsy, were the food. You were 100% the one going to get murdered then. You know, the bear isn't always the innocent party, man. In this case, that bear wanted to eat you. Those traps just saved your life, dude. Oh, no. Finish off the trap. You just want the berries. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, swing of berries. Let's harvest some berries and some eel root. Let's also chop down some trees. Strawberries come along nicely, rice come along nicely, potatoes ain't just been planted, corn's halfway there. Wow, 20,000 for that up even to 15. That's a lot. Yeah, fine, fair enough. I can't be stubby, can I? So close to leveling up, I want him to do this other one as well. Just to get him to do both. The cows got slaughtered, so they were eating all my food. It is the long and short of it. They were just eating all my food, so they had to go. I I couldn't look after them at all. You know, I tried to. But they better, because I did have that whole thing down here, didn't I? And they left it, just, it was a bit much. They're in a happier place now. Um, Craigsy's stomach. <laughs> Masterwork. Hell yes. Why we let Craigsy make these things, guys? He is a master. Yeah, that's true, but the... The dogs are useful. The dogs haul stuff about. And I find hauling is just one of those things that I hate doing with the guys. Because they take so long to have a person actually go and haul. When, like, for example, we've had somebody sat in there. And in time it takes them to craft a rock and get back. The dogs are filling it up again. So I'm happy to keep hold of the dogs. They do a bit more. And they rescue as well. With a... Blue would do that too. Yes. How about we buy a bear? Does that settle the bear thing? If we buy a bear, if one passes by. I feel like that's a good middle ground. So we still get a bear, but we don't risk our lives taming it. Yes, cool. Okay, we're on to it. So how much are bears in this game? I've got 5,600. I'm sure that'll cover a bear. They're probably like 600-ish, aren't they? Hopefully. I'm glad we've come to an agreement. 700, cool, that's fine. We will buy a bear. Need to sell some hay grass as well. We've got so much of it that we just don't need. We've got this bear meat, muffalo meat. Is anybody good at cooking yet? No. We need to cook fine meals. Level six. Oh, so can Mr. Cheese actually make almost make fine meals? Let's get Mr. Cheese to do that forever. So we need to level up cooking so we can get some fine meals. So do the bears actually like berries in game? Or are you are you playing along there? I'm not 100% sure if you're serious or not. In that case, we will need to plant some berries. I will plant some berries with Mr. Cheese at some point. So let's uh, go zone, growing zone. 
Need a bigger area, then let's give it that area. Right, berries. So we've got strawberries. That's all we can grow there. So, I have to be strawberries. We're growing strawberries anyway, so... That's all good. Strawberries. See, it's all good. It's all good. be the fire, yes. Oh, it's 54 degrees in there, that explains the explosion. Yikes. We should totally go for an overwall vent there. What is this, uh, 18? I thought it went to, I thought we got as far as 19. Did we not? We mustn't have done, I totally thought we reached 19 with it. Okay, in that case we need to build something to level them up. What can we build to level them up? I suppose we can make a really nice bed for... What's his name, couldn't we? We've got 85 of limestone, we can make a limestone double bed. Just in preparation to eventually give him a room. Uh, we'll build it. Just there for now. Craig Z, you do that. You can go to us, Mr. Hawk. As Mr. Hawk. Uh, of course, he hasn't got a bed to rest in, has he? So I guess that's his thing. Yeah. Temperature, however, has evened out quite a bit in these rooms now. I think it was the, ex the fire and stuff, plus everything else that's going on. All the work's been done in there. Hawkey. Leave it alone, Hawkey. On level 19, level 19. There we go. Planet leading master of construction. And it comes out normal. Damn it. Okay, uninstall. This is what we're going to do for everything, basically. We're just going to make the stuff that is going to be used and then we're going to uninstall it so when we can install it, it's ready to go. As soon as we've dug out room, we can just place it down. We don't have to wait ages. Is he all good? I oh, just burnt. So why can she not tend to hawk? Not sure. Now can she tend to hawk? Oh, and then she can go back. We do really need her to get level 6 so we can get some nicer meals. Just to cheer everybody up a little bit more. He's going to hate being kicked out of bed as well. Oh, the burn's slowly going down. Rexy's cooking. Yeah. Didn't see that coming. So he's dropped back to 18 again, so this just constantly falls, does it? Does this always fall back to 10 or something? I can't work this out. I thought once I hit a level it stayed at that level and would only go back to that level, but clearly not. Contact to grow. 64 days. Um, three lots of rice. That's a long time. Do you have a 
completely. Is there anything else I want to put in this room? We'll give him a table and a chair as well. out hunting. Whoops. Sorry, buddy. More pressing things to get to. Once he's done those, we'll get him to do that as well. That's cool. We have a mega sloth. I mean, that's going to take up a lot of food, though, isn't it? Um... Not sure how I feel about the mega sloth. Inside the walls. Um, I mean, he produces really good wool, doesn't he? <clears throat> Is he? Oh, he's a herbivore. Okay. Wow, he used a lot. Might have to kill the mega sloth. Got lots of hay grass. Will he eat hay grass? Because if he would just eat that, that's great. That's fine. Got a feeling he's going to go in there and start eating all of our meals, and we'll be back to go on struggling for food. Same reason we killed the uh, the cows. Hey, we're going to have a problem. It doesn't take so long for us to get some. Right, here we go. Sorry, Meg Sloth. We're going to make some good fur and some good food. Wow, we are actually running out of them for food. Okay, so let's put these back to do forever on cook meals. Should we just do that for all of them? Just for cook. That's a dangerous idea. Isn't it? Let's go for that for now. I don't want the fine meals, for example, to just take all of our food. Yeah, so we'll go just do forever on normal meals. We'll do the other ones first if we can. Craig and Mr. Cheese, both cooking. Oh, nice job, Bill. Bill is on it with the crafting. There we go. So many mills coming through. This guy. So many mills at the end of this. Way too many mills at the end of this. <laughs> It's weird, we've always got too much food coming through. How mental is that? We've got more food than I know what to do with. We've got up to 48 packet survival meals. And 131 simple meals. And so we just got another animal. Because it just wandered into one of our wooden traps somewhere. Someone made it as far as the steel trap, but... I think the smaller animals are less likely to set up traps, I think that's where it works. Hawk man, why are you asleep in the fridge? Slept in the cold, yes. Yes you are. Oh, 18, minus 18, to be fair, that's not that cold from then, is it? The two of these guys are absolutely destroying all this food. They cooked that pretty quickly. That's it, very nicely done. And then assume they're going to bed for the night, yep. Okay, so we should start thinking about a room for Hawk. Let's do that next. So. Ooh, do we want to put it in here and then move these? Move these potentially down towards here? Move the storage room down to here even. Couldn't So I'm worried if we mine out this and this gets too thin, are people just going to try and break through here to get in? Because <clears throat> that would suck. 
So if we put that in there with a small path and then like a little crafting area. We really want to go up here, don't we? Yes, we do. That's the correct answer. We want to go up here. So. Yes. We've got to clear out one of these bedrooms, don't we? Probably Craig's East. It's in the middle. We could move all of this stuff into this area. Move Craigsy's bedroom down into like a little bit here. Have two doors, one with Craigsy's bedroom, one leading into an area. All the food, but then the food's far away from the eating room. Tough stuff. I always want to move this bit swap size, then I move that to there and that to there. Because then we can up here. Don't know, we'll see. Or I could just move these to a room coming off of this. That would work too. Let's do that. It's just a 4x4. Four four. Cancel. Install that. That's a horrible shaped room. Fine. And reinstall that there. We'll dig that but out. Granite door there. It's got another animal, another squirrel. We've got so much food, 150 simple meals almost. It's going to be hideous. I love it. <laughs> this hawk is he up to? Consuming a simple meal. After that man, get to stone cutting. Let's go. We are out of granite. We need way more granite. It's a huge building project. Maybe we should clear off the uh, floor for now. the floor. Oh, we should have a bit of a bigger raid now. We do, so we've got two people coming in, one with a shotgun, one with a revolver. Oh, there's a bear. Oh, God. Uh, again, I don't think they're going to make it past our traps, so we'll get everybody inside walls for now. Restrict. We'll get them all inside walls for now. Everybody in. I assume Hawk wants a bed. He does. He, if he wasn't sleeping on the ground, wasn't uncomfortable, you know, basically one, two, three, all these four things would be sorted. Even five if we gave him a room. So. Right, let's see how this goes. Oh, there's three of them. I didn't third one. What have you got? Oh, Molotov cocktails. Great. Leo, what are your skills? Oh. Leo is definitely somebody I think we'd want to recruit. So, let's very quickly get a bed in there. Oh, Craig's eight. Bed now. Um, and then we need. We'll save her then. At the very least, we should strip her. has not got long to live. Right, prisoners. Just got the flat pants and the armor and stuff.
Try and retreat. They'll make this from her room. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Hawk. You've just lost your chance of having another room. <laughs> Risk of death because severe illness. No, Mr. Cheese is on it. I think. Looks like Mr. Cheese is on it. Prioritize cleaning blood. Yep. I'll just clear up around her. Naked, awful prison cell. Mind shattering pain. Yeah, you took a lot of damage. on research again. It's been so long since we did research. I really forgot it was a thing. I don't know how long we're going to carry on with the stream, by the way, guys. I'm heading towards my sort of limit now at two and a half hours. I imagine we'll go for another couple of days just to see if we can recruit anybody. But if we can't, then I think we'll just call it. But there's this. We've got Leo trying to be recruited, and that's going to be Care Killer. When we or if we do eventually recruit her, she will be care killer. We do need to sort out some more rooms, don't we? So oh, we've got all this space down here. Why don't we instead we take this bit of the base and we move things slowly down here? We could do that, couldn't we? Let's start to zone out a whole new base. I'm gonna go for a three wide corridor in the middle, for example. You know, it would be such a good base. One, two, three. Oh, so go for a three wide corridor, for example, in the middle. We'll have different farms outside down here. So we'll actually plan this out. So we'll have some paths. We'll have a path that runs up the middle like that. And then up to there. Three wide, all the way up towards the turret. And then goes across to that. We'll lower it down once, so it all lines up. So we'll do that. And then we'll have some zones either side that grow food. So all of that is going to be potato horse, yep. And then down here, we'll have a nice bit of rice. And then the left side here, oh we can move the roof from here as well, can't we? Ignore roof area. In fact, let's remove the roof from there. that. And then let's zone out another growing zone. We'll go for some corn. And that will go all the way back to here, I think, once we've... Oh, that's all granite, so no, it won't. That. So it's some corn growing, some potatoes growing. Basically, I'm building us a lush paradise down here. That's the, the aim. Here we could have our new dumping stockpile. So instead, we'll make this ignore roof. Yeah, now we've got a target to go for. This is great, so we'll get up that. And then in here, we'll build our new dumping stockpile. This will be our dumping stop pal. I think this is what we've got to do. Because we are actually struggling up here for space and things. So what we'll do is put a zone in here, dumping stop pal. Like that or we'll copy. Paste. Sweet. We'll move this sort of stuff out to here. Have a nice path that runs up towards the old one. But uh, all this stuff I think we can slowly start to abandon as we move into this new base all down here, which is going to be so much more secure. Look at all the land we've got to expand into. So for that reason, we're actually going to have to move our render. So if we go to our mod settings, progress renderer, 
We'll go two steps for moving instead of a week. Ugh. Like that. We'll go zone. In closed though, which is there, there. So, and then what we'll do is in here, we will plan out to have a nice communal area. Go eight that way, eight that way. Fourteen. Fourteen by nineteen, which is huge, I think. So we can put loads in here. Is that fourteen? So seven. Too far forward, isn't it? Yep. That we've got our lights in there. <clears throat> this will be a huge room. Which will be our nice communal area. We'll have like kitchens and stuff all coming off of this. We'll have like a kitchen and storage there. And then so we'll do butchering and stuff. Okay, this is it. This is the future for our rim welders. They're going to move into here. Is there much growing space down the bottom there? Because we could put in something like hay grass down there and just shove something. I don't know. Don't know. We'll see. A second line of defences, for example, could come in here. I think that would be pretty good. We'll leave all the old stuff here, we'll move. We'll start to build in new stuff down here. Because here's got tons of room for expansion and things. We can build bedrooms and corridors and things come off of this. Yeah, 15, so normal. That's the middle. So we've got doors coming off like that. Huge bedrooms and things in here. That's a huge ring build, some decent sized bedrooms and things off of here. Why is that one six? Oh, that one is six, which didn't measure the full thing. Like that, you know, I can see this working. You have to let me know what you guys think. Personally, though, I think this is going to be fantastic. Let's give it a save while we're planning. That looks like the way forward. So let's leave the game going while we do all this stuff still. And let's plan out stuff like the kitchen. So how big does a kitchen does the butchering room actually have to be? Four by four, just have it nicely spaced out. So what we want is off of here. That's a four by four, isn't it? So, that's what we've got. so we have like a butchering room there with storage, with storage across here for our butchered animals, animals to butcher, and then here we could have a nice big food storage. Trying to think how do I want this to look. So we go 4x4, let's go 4x4 again. Like that. That's 4x4, isn't it? Yep. And over here we'll have a big food storage. Like that. Like that. And then we'll just have a vent in here and a cooler. I like this. I think it's about time we start moving up in the world. So let's go on with this. This will be our dump stockpile. We need an actual stockpile for useful things inside. So we'll put like crafting and things. We can go towards the back, can't it? Or in fact, we can move our dump stockpile here as an easy I walk in the door and I'm there kind of thing. One, two, four, one. Uh, one, two, 
one, two, three, four, fifth. Because of the dumping stockpile all the way down here. Like that. We'll see. I guess we'll see how it goes, but uh, if we dump things down here, we could always have a crafting. We could put crafting rooms down here. I think we want dumping to be separate, don't we? We'd need room for a normal stockpile and stuff still as well. Let's see, what are we being attacked by? Oh, Yorkshire Terriers. That's cute. That's so cute. They're all going to run straight into traps, but that's so cute. Inside walls and inside walls. Just for the time being, guys. Hang about, hang about. Oh, they're going hunting, aren't they? Nope, 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 nope. Let them hit the traps first. Stay down. Great. Oh. There we go. This is going to be so good. Maybe we don't want to plant these yet. Or maybe we want to turn off the old ones. Don't know. I want some strawberries. I want some heel root. That's good. Strawberries, if only one. One, two, three. It's a bit big. Heal root, we don't need a huge area, do we? We can go for heal root. Yep, I know we've got nobody yet, but that's going to be our plan. So if let me know what you guys think. I think this will be the future of the the colony, is moving them further into this mountain so they're more defended. Because here's actually quite a small bit inside, if that makes sense. We could do with getting further and further and deeper and deeper in. I don't know how much we'll go about destroying the old base, but we might leave a lot of this here and just leave it unassigned and things. We'll obviously take the big, nice beds with us. We'll take really nice, excellent stuff with us, like the beds. But uh, if we don't need to take it with us, I think we can do with leaving it. And she's running off. She's just going to run straight away, isn't she? She is. She's going to get the map. She can bleed out. Shouldn't bleed out before she makes that. That being said, she's moving quite slowly. Now oh, she's got a wooden foot. Cute. Rexy man, I'll be, I'll be you soon. Very prosthetics. Right. Wild boar we could go hunting for, couldn't we? so loud. But he's almost leveled up shooting. Very cool. Solid professor. That isn't decaying right now. That's just... I'm trying to work out how this works. That's all. Oh wow, our hawk's now better at shooting. Much better. Out soon. Did he injure the other one or not? I don't see which one's bleeding. Not sure. Right. Okay. Oh, that one's got an old gunshot wound. Oh, there we go, there we go. He's going to bleed out too. Maybe Blue was here. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Oh, I genuinely am. When we when we get a bear, we'll buy one, and he will live happily in his new base. He'll love it. Oh, Thrombos. Okay, so... I wonder if we could hunt Thrombos. We've got two people, fairly proficient at the gun shoots. <laughs> Damn bears. Uh, so maybe we could.
Going straight ahead and carving all these guys up. Oh yeah, Mr. Peace is on it. Look at him go. Damn. Right. How many mills are we churning out? 144 with so much meat. Right. Craig T and Hawk. We're going to pull in together. Form up. Can you both hunt the thrombos? Uh oh. Uh oh, we might have done good. Go, 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 go. If he can just get inside this wall. Go, go, go. Just cheese. Please go rescue Hawk. Oh, there isn't, right? Yeah, on the scale of how fine is that thrombos? It's pretty fine, isn't it? It's not bleeding out at all. <laughs> oh no. If you have to melee attack the thrombos, melee attack the th Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Yeah. Okay, okay. That was a mistake. Try to complete agree, it's just like a Pokemon. I think we went about that the wrong way. There's got to be a better way to hunt Thrombos than that. Maybe if we can shoot it, then lure it through all the traps. Maybe that'll do it. This would be a good way to do the episode, though. Ah, oh, no, no. So we need to even reload before this. I think it's every five minutes, isn't it? Oh, that's every couple minutes. Let's go. Cool. We'll reload to before the... Terrible, terrible times. Just see if we can hunt this thrombos. In fact, this is before the thrombos appeared. Maybe this is when the thrombos appeared. Not out there though, is it? No. Ooh, okay. Up yep, here would have been a good place for a base, because there's three geothermal spots. There's none down here. It's a shame there's not one, like, right here or something. So good. And we've got so much food. Is Mr. Cheese leveled up yet? Nope, getting there. Getting there. Okay, so. Roughly locate the gunshots from the sound. How long did that spoil? So, yeah, that's, nope. that's gonna be gross. The bear can have that. We feel like we should cut the ambrosia and not harvest it. I don't know. Or we could just leave it, I suppose. A hawk is getting good at shooting, though. What does reduce resistance do? So does that... How much they hate us, or...? I assume reducing resistance increases the recruitment difficulty, but... I think we should just release them. We have... Cared for them, we've... Helped them. I'd have liked to have hired them, but I don't think... We can get any time soon, are we? Let's go reduce resistance. Because I don't want to make any snap decisions now. So let's reduce resistance. And then see if later on we can take one. Hawk man, you gotta be here for the long term if you want to bed. I'm sorry, but that's, that's how this is working. The very, very long term, is that granite? Granite. Hmm, so it's reducing resistance. Which I assume will increase recruitment difficulty. 
So she's quite smart. Oh, she's a cannibal. That's great. And she's a psychopath. That's perfect. And capable of artistic and intellectual, which we're not too fussed about. Hmm. Evidently, it's not that bothered. Okay. That's over. Leo is fully healed. Shouldn't be cold. Might be upset they're naked, yeah. My rival Rowan died. They didn't like Rowan. That's pretty cool. How comfy is the bed? That's a good bed. That is a good bed. Nice. Need to get good at mining, buddy. Okay. Not gonna get away with this. Oh, he's bruised. Bless him. Okay. Right, fine. Not prisoners. Um, let's uninstall that bed. Let's install this bed. Because somebody just got themselves a room. Sweet. You guessed who it is. Fine. That's what I had to go down. Fine, so bit. He's not too bad, he's just slightly bruised. And on that note, where sadly Leo died, we are going to end it here. I hope you've enjoyed being part of the journey. And at least now we've got some sort of part of the future. It's going to be a very big base down here. So, we'll see how it goes. Should be grand. Should be grand, we'll see. But should be good. So, thanks for watching guys. And I look forward to seeing you all next time. Have a good evening for those of you that are here. Well, no. Uh, have a good night for those of you that are in other places. And have a good morning for those of you who are on the other side of the world. Thank you and goodbye everybody.